Xcode, this is Jason Lazo with the Carlsbad Airport, Carlsbad, California, checking out the B24J Liberator, talking with my man Otter from the Collings Foundation, finding more and more about this plane, more and more out about this plane, and it's an amazing, amazing thing. You guys stay tuned for another great piece of American history here and a great episode of the x -Core. You're watching it. Standing in front of the Witchcraft B24J World War II era bomber, standing with my friend Otter from the Collings Foundation. What's up, bud? Well, you know, we're, we're all about the history of uh, this uh, amazing piece of American heritage here. Give me some more stories on it. All right, well, uh, as we mentioned before, 18,000 of them built. A uh, couple historical stats. 5,200 of them were lost in combat. You know, it's a crew of 10 men per airplane, so you look at the numbers there. Granted, a lot of those guys were able to bail out, but they most likely became POWs, uh, stuff like that. But the more astounding fact there is 5,500 of them were lost in non-combat, weather-related accidents, mid-airs, training accidents. Yeah, so, you know, back then, we were still learning about aerodynamics, still learning about flying in the weather in IFR. I mean, that was just coming about and uh, flying in the clouds. Uh, the jet stream wasn't discovered until World War II. So, things like that. So, it's a very... Uh, very sobering stat in terms of thinking about that and what those guys went through and what they sacrificed and how many guys didn't even really make it out of the states just lost in training you know 65,000 pound airplane you look at a crew of 10 men to deliver 4,000 8,000 pounds worth of musicians in the beginning of the war 42 43 100 of those airplanes wouldn't come back from that mission that's one third loss that's a thousand guys and they might not even hit the target. The weather might have been fo the, the the target might have been fogged in. So it's just an it's an amazing thing that the, what they had to go through and what they dealt with back back in the, in the day. Yeah, sheer tenacity, sheer willpower, just head down, charging it, just making it happen. Had to do it. Yep. And they and they did it with pride. They did it with honor, and they did it without think, thinking of themselves. Truly, one of the greatest generations for this beautiful country. Like I said, God bless America. You're watching the X Corps. So Derek, obviously the name of the plane is Witchcraft. Give me a little history on this. Yeah, well, the crews were allowed to name their aircraft. Uh, this uh, particular crew decided to name their aircraft Witchcraft. The significance of why we have it painted up as such is Witchcraft did 130 missions. Each bomb there represents a mission flown. It never turned back early, always made the target, never lost a crewman. That type of stat, especially from World War II, is an incredible stat. Memphis Bell, the movie that familiar, most people are familiar with, that was the first crew to ever make 25 missions. 25. 25. 
Previous to that, no other crew had completed 25 missions. It crashed, been captured, POWs, uh, whatnot. So, in order for an aircraft to have done 130 missions and to, and been able to fly over enemy territory and sustain the flak, and and be able to get back home and fly again 130 times, is <laughs> is, is a magic magical story. Amazing. And just so the audience knows, when you didn't complete a mission in World War II, that meant you didn't come back. Correct. Yeah. Downed or something yeah. bad happened. Or a mechanical failure or something of that sort. Yeah. All right, well, here's to uh, the witchcraft and a great piece of American history. You're watching the X-Course. Stay tuned. feeling this is. I mean, this is a piece of American uh, history, heritage, Collings Foundation, B24J. You guys stay tuned. We're checking it out. We're going to go for a ride in this bad boy. You're watching the X-Core. We're flying. Yeah. 